Hi, Hollywire. I'm Calista Clark. Hey, Hollywire. We are here backstage at Stagecoach with Calista Clark. She took the stage earlier and killed it. How are you doing, girl? Doing good. What about you? I love your earrings. Oh, my God. Stop. I love your boots. I love your whole thing. <laughs> uh, let's play a little game. Okay. You down? All right, what is worse, a restaurant getting your food order wrong or a barista getting your coffee order wrong? Oh my goodness. I would have to say a barista getting your coffee order wrong. If you are relying on caffeine <laughs> as much as I am, it's a big deal. I agree. <laughs> what is worse, Instagram being down or TikTok being down? TikTok. Ooh, oh, you like TikTok. And I waited so long to get on TikTok. I was like, I swear, I'm not going to do it. I can't do it because everybody gets, they just spend so much time on it. But now I am one of those people and I spend an embarrassing amount of time on TikTok. <laughs> Wait, yeah. let's actually talk about boots because I think I saw online that you have a problem with buying too many boots. Is that yes, true? yes. I, well, I should say I have a problem with wearing or buying too much clothes in general. Yeah, same. <laughs> I spend so much money on clothes. <laughs> and I try not to, you know. On my phone, when I'm on the road, I shop online all the time. So it's just at my house when I get back. But <laughs> I, yeah, these were one of my latest purchases just for a stagecoach. But I have been told it's super dusty and it might be like, they're never gonna be the same after this. They so look, you know what, good. you've got the rhinestone situation. You can see the dust on my boots, but you've got the <laughs> rhinestone situation. I think that will protect them. It is very dusty. Yes. What is, is this your first major festival? Are you taking it all in? This is my first stagecoach. I've never <laughs> been to stagecoach before and I'm play and I'm playing it, so it's so unbelievable. That's a really, really big honor. Obviously, you killed it on stage. Fans were absolutely loving all of your songs. What has it been like this past year? Just a whirlwind? Absolutely. It's been so incredible. Like you said, last year I put out my first collection of music and it's all about being a teenager and just feeling all the feelings <laughs> and just like learning yourself as a person. It's just kind of that journey. And now I put out my next single a few weeks ago and it's called Gave It Back Broken. It's a really sad, heartbroken song, oh, but I'm you really like excited this? for everybody to hear it. So tell me, writing songs about being a teenager, your fans are young. Are you guys like connecting over shared experiences? Like, do you get a lot of messages from fans being like, that's me? <laughs> yeah. And it honestly, I feel like, especially as a songwriter, being an inspiration to people and trying to write something that's relatable to people no matter what their age is mm -hmm. is the biggest goal of mine doing that while also saying something that I would say at 18 and it's all a really big deal to me and it's always incredibly special when somebody does reach out or comment or just say hey you wrote this song and it's you know been really impactful to me I feel like that's as a songwriter all that you hope for how do you feel about like when you release music are you nervous are you excited like what yeah. is it like when you're waiting to see fans reactions you know what the first time I released music for real to me I was so anxious and I was so excited and all of the things and just freaking out and waiting for it to be there and out and happening and I think because it was in the middle of when COVID happened. Mm -hmm. And so I couldn't believe it that it was actually going to happen after about a year. Okay. And I was like, I'll believe it when I see it. And so it finally, it did happen. And now I'm on to my second single and it's, it's crazy. I'm always excited about it. Oh my gosh, we love that. There are so many talented artists here. What are some artists that have like inspired you? Who do you look to? Who do you look up to? Well, you were just talking to Miss Lainey Wilson. She's a big inspiration of mine. She's so sweet and Girl knows how to dress. She always looks absolutely amazing. We had to talk about that, but so do you. You look killer. Thank you so much. I've already ditched the main piece of my outfit, my <laughs> denim jacket that was bedazzled with fringe and everything. It's, too it's hot just for that. so hot. <laughs> yeah, it's too hot for that. You gotta stay hydrated. You gotta yes. shed the layers. It's crazy out here in the desert. Yes. <laughs> All right, you guys, this has been so much fun. We have Calista Clark here. You have been watching Hollywire, and we will see you next time.